Hello, Jose Rodriguez again. I am back in the house. You know why? The sky turned dark and it started to thunder and I quickly got inside to safety. Weird thing. On the north side, it was black. My backyard was getting pelted by rain, but my street facing south was bright and sunny, but still raining. One of those weird storms reminds me of Florida or Puerto Rico back in the day. Anyway, so let's try this one more time. I did start the video, but of course, it didn't quite work out. We were going to talk about Breathing Color Riverstone Satin Rag Paper and the fact that, yes, it is coated on either side, but the back or what would normally be the back side suffers from a scuff mark that maybe is the result of the roller mechanism on the coating machine. So they have designated it as a single printing or surface type paper, even though you could technically print on either side. Now, I already showed you, you can go back and look, some examples of um, printing on the back side and uh, how they worked out. I don't think I have that here with me. But anyway, by simply spraying the resulting print impression on the back side, the one with the little scuff, and it's almost like a burnish mark. It just looks like somebody, maybe the rollers that transported the paper roll as it was being coated on the proper side, maybe causes a burnishing type situation on the surface. It just looks like a little glossy streak. If you apply this to that side after you print it, it is gone. So I thought, well, you know, why not just try it on the Pro 1000? This has Chroma Optimizer. And if I use the full coverage, maybe that will remove that scuff mark. I would hate not to be able to print on both sides so that I can make a little book of photos that you can just simply flip and see the front and then flip it over and have another image on the back, just like a photo book. Well. It works sort of, not quite as good as I expected it, and of course not quite as good as when you simply use a spray. That works a lot better. So here's the front, and by the way, this is a Q500, unique Typhoon Q500 4K drone. I shot this image today. Basically, I was testing it, and I decided why not shoot a few shots while I am up in the air. I had no clue the storm was going to come. It came out of nowhere. So, as you can see, maybe if I come up close, very detailed image and really a nice result on this paper. This is, again, that breathing color paper. The texture is just fabulous. You would not want to tamper with that. So, I printed in the back, again, the same photo. And, yeah, I could see it. I could see the slightest slightest little area where you can see that what looks like the roller marks when the paper is being transported. And the reason they had to coat both sides so that you can maintain this level of flatness. This is a rag paper. Remember, this is not resin coated. So coating it on just one side would do nothing but create a huge amount of curl. And that's the last thing you want on a 350 gram paper, a fine art paper such as this. So front and back. Of course, if you want to really absolutely remove that line, almost invisible at this point, really, this worked out quite well. I mean, you would literally have to be told it's there and then you go search for it. I can't really see it that clearly. But anyway, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread, folks. Pro 1000, Pro 1, Pro 10 will be able to handle this paper, apply full coating of Chroma Optimizer, and print on the back so that you can have dual-sided prints, which you would then make up an album with. Perfect situation. I know it wasn't intended to be, but you actually can do that. And I'll show you one last time before we say goodbye. Perfect rendition, either side, just as good as the back. Oh, actually, that is the back, and this is the front. 
Again, identical results. And that little scuff mark, it is, or burnish mark, roller mark, is practically gone. I just know it's there because I saw it earlier before I printed to it. Anyway, that is it. Great combination. And for other papers that are dual coated, take a close look at those papers to make sure you don't see anything like this. Again, this paper was not intended to be dual printable. It was just kind of an accident. And I think they knew about it. I kind of saw it and I said, wait a minute, I should be able to print on either side. There's got to be some sort of a payback for this. And yeah, that's what it was, that little roller mark. And so again, this puppy takes care of it. Pro One will take care of it. I know the P400 from Epson will take care of it as well because it uses gloss optimizer. So it would have the same effect. Applying an overcoat of gloss optimizer or chroma optimizer will make that little scuff mark disappear. It takes ink perfectly. There is no problem whatsoever with the actual image printed on the wrong side, if you will. So there you go. Try that if you have one of these printers. Epson P400, even the R2000 earlier printer, again, the same system. It uses gloss optimizer, the Pro 1000 and up, Pro 1, Pro 10. You should be able to produce awesome results. I would go ahead and spray them anyway, just because albums are going to be handled by fingers. So a protective coating either side with one of those three sprays, Premier Print Shield, Hanamule Protectant Spray, and Desert Varnish from Moab. All of them available on my Amazon affiliate site. So have a look at those if you're interested. Again, they perform beautifully, meaning that they will not change the appearance, the look, and the results that you see when the print emerges. Applying a coat of those sprays will not alter that look. And the look is everything in this particular case. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And until the next time, happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye. See you all Saturday evening, by the way. Bye-bye.